an hour for the carriages and lots of the other, the ammunition train, it's going to take them at least two to three hours to find the field. This, this really is now crucial for Byron to actually break the will of the Parliament Army to start to move. He, can be, he must be down to no more than a dozen shots with musketeers and, say, 20 shots with his artillery. I will go and try and find out some more intelligence. I'll leave it to you, Malcolm, to, to uh, explain what you can see from your point. Well, as you can see, the battle seems to ground to a, a halt almost in the middle of the field. Neither side giving ground willingly, uh, neither side advancing effectively. Uh, and this is precisely the sort of battle that will go against Lord Byron. He needed to get a quick, decisive victory under his belt. With, with time against him, the longer this goes on, the more likely he is to run out of the ammunition, which is all that's keeping his troops on the field, I'm sure. It's, it's not good at all, and I would not be at all surprised if one or other of the two commanding officers uh, did not attempt to bring this to a premature end with a parley. Uh, a parley is where one or other side offers to talk to the opponents, hence the drummer going forward, and uh, if the 